Hey, Brock Lemires here. In this video, we're gonna look at how we can use 2D arrays in C to perform matrix operations. Specifically, we'll look at just an add and then discuss some other ones. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. If you have learned about matrices, basically what matrices are, are 2D arrays. And there's a reason for that, <laughs> you know? Uh, there's a reason that C has 2D array support. But what you do is you put numbers in this particular format, and then you write these little kind of diagrams or these little lines around it. And there's a bunch of operations that are defined that allow us to do really cool things when we're operating on large amounts of data. And so as you go through your engineering curriculum, you'll start off with like, oh, okay, we're going to add these things together and then you subtract them. And then you'll start being, doing stuff like, oh, maybe a determinant. And then all of a sudden you'll get to a point where you realize that, holy cow, you can actually do all sorts of cool stuff with this, such as solving simultaneous equations or performing convolution and all these little things. And so we kind of want to just chip away at how you actually do some basic uh, basic matrix app addition or basic operations. Okay, so let's just do addition. This is really simple. So when you do addition, you have two matrices that are the same size, uh, row and column. In this example, they're going to be a two by two. And all you do is you add each element uh, to its equivalent location in the other matrix. So in this situation, you take one plus one, one plus 12, and notice how they're in the zero, zero position. Then you go over here, this is the zero, one position. You go five plus negative one, notice that's down there. And then you come down to the one, zero position, add it to the one, zero position, seven plus zero. And then th this is the one, one position. So three plus the one, one position over here, which is nine, three plus nine. Then you evaluate them all and the answer is that. Okay, so let's do this using loops. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let's go, let's code along here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into my uh, mod 08 uh, directory and I check out what's in there. Just this growing list of awesome array code here. And let's go ahead and vim up a little uh, uh, array. So let's call this uh, matrices dot c okay now i'm in vim so i'm gonna go comment header uh 2d arrays and matrices and we'll go ahead and do that and let's go ahead and pound include our standard io header file so we can use printf and then let's go ahead and do our main function shell by doing this and you get so used to doing this, it just becomes second nature. And now we're ready to do this. So let's create an array for A. So let's go int, and then we'll go A, and it's a two by two. And then we'll initialize it using the curly bracket. So remember what we do is we open a curly, and that tells it, hey, here comes some initialization. And then you put another curly bracket set within it to describe the row. So if I want to describe this row right here for A, I would put one comma five. So I go one comma five, that now is the, is the first row of A. And then I would do another curly bracket comma delimited that represents the second row. So that's gonna be seven, three. And then you close the whole curly with a curly and you're done, okay? All right, so that's A. And then I'm gonna go int B, which is also a two by two. And then what I'm gonna do is go, uh, same thing. I'm gonna initialize the first row to 12 and negative one. So I do that with a curly bracket, 12, negative one. And I do the next curly bracket and it's gonna be zero and nine. So I go zero comma nine. And then I close the whole curly up and save it. And I'm gonna stretch this over so it doesn't line wrap. And now I'm ready to, to keep going. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come down here and all I'm gonna do is say four and I'm gonna loop through, actually, no, I take that back. I got one more I need to do. I need the result to go somewhere. So I need a two by two matrices that's not initialized. And then what I'll do is I'll come down here and I'm gonna create a for loop and just add these together. So watch how easy this is. I'm gonna have, uh, I need some loop variables, right? So int i and j and I'm gonna do four and I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go i less than, or excuse me, i equals zero, i is less than two, and then i plus plus. So that's gonna walk through each of the rows, one by one, but each time through the row, I'm gonna have another for loop which walks through the columns. So then I'm gonna nest a for loop in here, and I'm gonna use the loop variable j. So I'm gonna say j is equal to zero, 
the Boolean expression is j is less than two. And I'm gonna go j plus plus. And then I'm now in a position where I can access each element in the array both or both matrices, both arrays using I and J. So then watch how simple this is. I just go C at index I J is equal to A at index I J plus B at index I J. Okay, and let me pull that even further over so it doesn't line wrap. And now we have this code right in here. And so we don't even really need to see this code anymore. So now I'm sitting here and I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. So close that curly, close that curly. And let's compile this and make sure it runs. And then we'll have to think about printing it. So let me change into mod 08. And I'm like, okay, uh, LS what's in here. There's my little buddy right there. Uh, matrices. Where is it? Where is it? It's right there. Matrices. So let's go GCC matrices and then direct the output to an executable file called matrices and I can auto complete the first time and then just remove the C and then bop if I do it with wall it's probably going to say you know what you didn't print anything C is used and it's like I don't know but it did it did compile okay so now what I got to do is figure out how am I going to print this well, it turns out that this code is really concise and you can see that it's like C is really good at doing this because it walks through each element. So it's like one plus 12, boom, five plus negative one, boom, seven plus zero, boom, three plus nine, boom. And it just cranks through these really quick. Then we come along and we try to print the thing. <laughs> so let me try, I wanna print it like this. I want it to look really pretty where I have like, here's the A matrices printed out like this. Here's the B matrices and then here's the C matrices. And the result should be 13, four, seven, 12. It shouldn't, it's, we know the, the answer to this uh, but the printing of this is actually going to take much more code than the actual calculation but we're going to copy and paste and so this will be print uh, inputs and output la da da okay so first thing we're going to do okay first thing we're going to do we're trying to make this look like this so we're basically going to have loops where we go print 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 so we're going to go through the row and for each row we'll print something and then we'll tab over we'll print the next element we'll print column zero column one then we'll do the return and it won't be horrible once we get it once so let's do this print f let's come down a little bit and then we're going to do a four and we already got a loop variable i so i is equal to zero i is less than uh two and then I plus plus, and then let's open a curly, and then let's do this. For J equals zero, J less than two, J plus plus, open a curly, and now we've got everything indexed. So now check this out. All I'm gonna do is go, I'm basically at the row is good. So I'm at zero, this is the I, and I go I is equal to zero, and now what I wanna do is print, at the index I wanna print, j is zero j is one but i don't want to return between them and then once i do that i'll do a return separate after i get done with it okay after i go through both columns so what i do is this print f and i'm going to do this i'm going to print the value using a format specifier of d which means print the integer and decimal and i'm going to do a tap okay and that's it i'm not going to do a return and then right there i'm going to i'm going to do a first so i'll go ahead and say a at index i j Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then what's gonna happen is I close the curly with the the column. So this for loop with the J is to print one tab, five tab, and then once I get done with all the columns, I'll go ahead and it'll go outside of that. And before you allow the I for loop to, to print the next one, you're gonna go ahead and slap a return in here. So all I do is this, watch, print, f and then i'm just going to put a line return and then you know use the right syntax but there it is okay all right so now after i'm done that i close my curly and i got myself code all right life is good so let's go ahead and make sure that that works so i go ahead and do that and i gotta run the thing which apparently is not on my command history so i'll run matrices oh baby look at this one five seven three so I did it. Now, you ready for the cheese? Here is the cheese. You could put that in a function, I highly recommend it. However, I'm not gonna do it because it's so fast to not do it. So I'm just gonna do this, watch this. This is, this is horrible, uh, but it works. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say, 
I'm going to print this plus sign. So I'm going to hit a return. I'm going to hit plus and then return, return. And I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to space it over. I'm not even going to tab over. <laughs> I just do a couple of returns and then I got it. Okay. So I did that. I'm like, okay, why'd you do that? Well, now I got that. And now I'm gonna, I need another loop here to print B. And it's like, oh boy, are you going to type in this for loop again? No, I'm not. Watch this. This should, this should be in a function but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to reuse it. I'm going to come up here with my cursor. Okay. And I'm going to get in normal mode. So I hit escape. Okay. I'm going to hit V and I'm going to go into a, a mode called visual. I'm going to down arrow until I get what I want. And then I'm going to press Y and it yanks everything that I highlighted. Now I come down to where I want to put it and I hit P for put. And now I'm good. Okay, so now let's think about what has happened. Now, I have just now printed plus. Now I want to do B. All right, so I didn't need this little fella right there because uh, I already included the line returns there. But I and J are going to index through just like normal. But this time I'm going to print B. Okay, <laughs> so let's see where I'm at now. So GCC, I run it. Oh boy, check this out. Now I've got A plus B, and the last part is I just need to do the equals. And now you're ready for more cheese. Watch this. I'm going to go. I'm going to copy this whole thing again, put this in functions. This is just, this is so embarrassing. I'm going to go escape V for visual mode. This what I'm doing is I'm teaching you how to use the copy and paste using visual mode block, copy and paste. Okay. So I'm going to Y to yank it, come down here <laughs> and I'm going to come in here. And now this time I'm going to do equal. And the only difference now is I'll print C, and this really is the only time we've been able to see if we got the right answer. So I GCC it, I run it, and now let's pull this up and see if I got it. So let me, I'm gonna move, let me move this over so you can see the code over there. And lo and behold, I got one five seven three twelve negative one zero nine, and I got thirteen four seven twelve, and that is indeed the right answer. <laughs> okay, now here's some other of the simplest operations with matrices subtraction is the same thing you just do every element by each element okay eight minus three four minus ten two minus four so you do it each location in each matrices is operated independently okay they have to be the same size multiplication you can multiply by a constant or by equal dimension so if you multiply by a constant it's exactly what you would think you basically just take the constant and multiply each element Make multiplication of an equal dimension is where you do this. You do this one's really interesting is you go this location in the result is actually a times E plus B times G. So it's basically a row column multiply sum. And you're like, what in the world? It turns out that if you do it like that, you can use this type of multiplication for other operations down in the future. So when you first learn matrices, just accept that it's a little wacky the first time you use it. And once you get down the road and you start using them for signal processing, you're gonna be like, wow, this is awesome. This one right here, this is a sweet one. If you have A, which is basically has a certain number of rows, uh, and you multiply it by another array that has the same number of columns in it, but only a single. What happens is that you can multiply these two together. So this is a two by three times a three by one, and it will become a two by one matrix. Okay, this becomes really powerful because you can sol solve simultaneous equations with one other operation. Anyway, these are just simple operations, but you have at least been exposed to how you can use a 2D array to perform matrix operations. But the key to it all is loops. So accessing each element using nested loops and you are there. All right, nice work.